see there's a lot of silver. Ready? Three, two, one. Woo! What's up all you wonderful people watching this video? Welcome back to the Genius Family Channel where we are going to do deep search number two of the $110 storage unit that we did over on our main channel. If you haven't seen that video, click the link down in the description. So let's get into some of these boxes and search deeper and see what cool things we can unveil. The first box that we're gonna go through cannot fit on the table because it's really long, so I'm gonna set it on the floor and pull stuff out. So the first thing we have is the Bratz doll head. Here's a little purse here that we could put on Poshmark depending on how much it is worth, but it's brand new pretty much. Here is another bag, has like cheetah print on it. Fuzzy on the outside. This is the only stain I see on it. It's like nail polish or some kind of gel. Hey, the actual piggy bank. So later on in the video, I'm gonna try to get this open and show you guys how much is in, or tell you guys how much is in here. And then we'll add it to our coin jar that we have over there. Cause this is super glued on the bottom. So I'm gonna have to bust this somehow. So stay tuned for that. Right here is just a happy fifth birthday crown. This is the uh, Polaroid camera, but it's like a like a reformed one. The ones that they usually put classic on, but it's not the original. You know what I mean? Um, and it comes in a case here. Also, this. Not sure what that is. Is this the little tray that like the Polaroid picture paper goes in? I don't know. As always, let me know in the comments because you guys know everything. I do not. This right here, we have a bag of a bunch of poppets. We have five or yeah, five bags of poppets. We love poppets here at the Jesus family. This is a makeup bag or pencil case. So that's just yard sale. This right here, your peaceful understanding and sincere. So it's just like a fairy with a little storybook. I don't even think we went all the way to the bottom on uh, of this box on the main channel. So I definitely can't wait to see what's at the bottom. This is just a sequence like makeup bag case or pencil pouch, uh, addition flashcards, which will go in the um, hamper that I have all the school stuff in. Another pouch that, let me make sure it has nothing in it. The only thing in it is a bow. This bag is, don't know what this bag is. <laughs> Let's pull it out, see what this says. Uh, super spa set. So I guess it's like soaps that you can make into different colors. Uh, just the only thing that I'm not sure of is if, if everything in the set is here. Not sure of at all it seems to be so i can definitely just keep it in this bag and put it at the yard sale i mean somebody has to know right here's another brat head doll that's like half finished she had her hair clipped up over here but yeah somebody was half done with her and the rest of the stuff i'm gonna have to pour out on the table there's another change jar in there here we go we have purple poop purple poop um a remote control to mysto tech so something remote control car wise. Right here, an emoji poop that has more change in it. This thing I think goes on like the bottom of your sneakers and you can use them as like back wheels or um, like makeshift heelys in a way. Um, the only other things in here are a red and white version of pom pom emoji watch right here. It's probably going to watch a lot if we find more watches. Face card fun and more poppets. Thing of used deodorant. A journal and that is all next box these next two boxes are like kids craft thing um, we showed them but we didn't really go into detail as in what was in it so this right here are jumbo donut stickers like I need to look at donuts anymore I look at that I gain 20 pounds this are uh, or these are cheerleading 3d stickers this is you're a gym that's just like a little notebook that somebody's already used this right here looks like another notebook Ooh. It's a notebook with like skeleton faces in it, but like these first few pages have um, like stickers to put on the faces, so that's cool. This right here is scrapbooks, ultimate scrapbook and cards, over a thousand digital scrapbooking accessories. These two are just little things that can go on the trash. This is an LOL stamp. These right here are just multiple sheets of, are these stickers? No, they're like little cardboard. Uh, punch out things you punch them out and you can put them on stuff in various designs here And then this is probably a little starter scrapbook. I'm assuming um, Which is pretty much all written in so throw that away Here are three more stamps a star love and a flower and this is trash and then we have This thing which is a stencil this thing is trash and then a little thing of scissors so 
It's like a, it looks like a little kid like art crafting scrapbook type starter kit thing. So let me get the other one. See what's in this one. This looks more like all beads. <laughs> so we have some stickers here, but it is um, Ultimate Jewelry Center and just literally beads everywhere. So I'm just gonna leave all the stuff in these cases and just toss it out at the yard sale for a dollar. See where that goes. This next box looks like just binders. Let's see if it is just binders. This binder, empty. This binder, empty. This binder, empty. All right, so we got a bunch of brand new binders. <laughs> this one has some sheets in it, but nothing interesting. Uh, we have a pile of manila folders. This binder, brand new, empty. This one has some dividers in it, but there's nothing in there. Again, dividers, nothing in there. This is the only one that looks like has stuff in it. Proposal forms package. Uh, table of contents, let's see. Abbreviations. Now this is like, I guess, their uh, former employer. Yeah, forms, so I don't care about that. There's literally a box full of binders. This next box says cheer stuff on it. So we have this, which any cheerleader I feel like would love. Hashtag squad, cheerleading squad. Chuck E. Cheese's gumball machine. A little inflatable uh, lollipop, a donut pop, a cake pop, I don't know. This is a, a, a Funko Pop. <laughs> I think this is Mona, I'm not sure. Or from that movie, if it's not Mona. Uh, this is just a little kid's camera. Batteries are probably dead, but I'm sure it works. And these are just like bag tags, all out championships. So this is probably just like some cheer related bag tag thing. Um, that is trash. So a couple more baby shoes here. I feel like I found these. Um, I, I put them over here in the Poshmark thing. I just lost the shoe. An A. Does this light up? Light up. Ah, A. Uh, this is a little squoo, squishy thing. It's all torn apart. Fidget spinner. Some kid will like to find that at the yard sale. A couple more little toys. Another little toy. They have a lot of poop toys in here. Look at the poop emoji toy. And another fidget spinner. So this next box right here is really big. I actually took one box and tipped it over into the bigger box. And I gotta deal with that right now. I'm messing up the camera. Okay. And I broke some home decor thing, but that's just a dollar mirror, so I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> anyway. Right off the bat, we have a nice nightmare before Christmas snow globe. Check that out. We might have to, like the smaller items right here, we might have to put it in a lot for the live auction. So we'll figure out what we can do as far as that goes. Because I know a lot of you guys like nightmare before Christmas. So we definitely got to have one, right? So this is like a little Mary Kay bag. A little kid's skate. A little beanie boo. And then this is just like a... I don't know, kids mailbox, maybe there was stickers or something in it at some point. And then this just said mount suction and then hang basket. I don't know what that could be used for. So we'll put this back in here. This is actually, this stays out. The rest of it's yard sale stuff. So this is what I broke. The other one is just a mirror. That one's really dirty. See what's in this thing. It's just a brown bucket. This, so I guess this probably went to like some kind of plastic dollhouse, I'm assuming. A pair of, a pair of, a deck of bicycle cards. A Sally slipper. Here's a phone box. And I'm pretty sure we found this, but there was no phone, I'm sure. Yeah, just a pair of earbuds and the USB connector thing. And there's two of these. So, New Year's party pack for 10. It doesn't say 2020, so they're just Happy New Year things, which is good. So that's easy yard sale. Here is something that is kind of broken. Maybe somebody will want to put super glue down there and fix it, but I'm pretty sure it just came from the dollar store or something. It just says creepy on it for Halloween. Here are some trays that again, probably came from Dollar Tree, but easy yard sale stuff all day. This cup right here is Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. It is a glass as it says at the bottom and it says Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas behind it. So that again, will save. Here's another Sally uh, glass goblet is what it says. There's a little picture on it. And then again, on the other side, just says the name of the movie. So I'll keep that. 
This is something that just hangs on the door. So that's, again, easy yard sale. Handheld colander, again, yard sale. Another Sally glass, uh, a big bowl. <laughs> so some random kids and stuff down here at the bottom. A couple holiday plates. This one for deviled eggs. There's a couple of them for Easter. Here's one for um, Christmas. Here's two big platters for whatever. And we also have mini, mini cups. So there's a jacket in here and the brand is Eddie Bauer. I definitely heard of that brand before. Not sure how expensive or inexpensive it is. So I'll throw that in the Poshmark pile. And here we have some kind of vase or cup. One of those Christmas boxes that you put whatever you want in it. What is in here? And here are those little like gems that you put at the bottom of like a fish tank or a flower vase. The rest of it is just Valentine's Day cards that are just going right in the trash. Real quick, I just wanna say I have more boxes to go through, obviously. I have the piggy banks to open and I also wanted to ask you guys to please leave it a like if you are enjoying it thus far. If you're not, leave it a dislike. It doesn't matter. We appreciate it either way. And also subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into some more boxes. Okie dokie, let's see what's in this box. Ooh boy, more. Fingernail polish, like I need more. Uh, so the, before I get to the mail, nail polish, uh, there is a sassy stems, I guess wine type glass here that says, I woke up like this. This whole thing full of nail polish. Dr. Epsom, Epsom salt or Dr. Teal's Epsom salt. And oh my gosh, more. And then a brand new loose eyeshadow. All right. And this whole thing of nail polish. Don't need no more nail polish. This nail polish actually looks way better than the last unit's nail polish, so at least that's a plus. Let's go through this box really fast. So right off the top, I see a couple coolers here, which are in good condition and they don't smell. So here's another one. I like the colors on that one. That one's in good condition. Yard sale. This is another good thing that's clean, easy to sell. Yard sale. Um, some paperwork here. Just trash. This is something you like mashed potatoes with. Mashed potatoes with mashed potatoes. <laughs> Don't listen to me. A uh, pair of scissors that are stuck together. And here we have Uno emoji. Yeah, that. Play school colors and shapes. Different flashcards for kids. Uh, some post it notes, which you always need. This right here is a magnetic calendar, 52 sheets. So something you put on your fridge or something and you write down. Again, another good yard sale thing. Royal Farms rewards, uh, different rewards paperwork here. Uh, this is just an unused card, a bow. Reynolds wrap, we always need aluminum foil. That's ours. <laughs> Putting that in the kitchen. Here's two more. Kitchen, don't have to buy it now. Here's another one. Kitchen. Here's another one, kitchen. Uh, a couple more kitchen things here. A thermometer and like a desk organizer. All yard sale. Uh, this is, oh, they put like monthly bills and shopping lists on it. So that's trash. This is a, bear, a card that has a lot of opening things. That has nothing in it. Go in the trash. Under here, we have another thing, I guess, for a desk, organizer, reasons. This thing maybe roll sushi, right? Or I don't know what other uses this has, but you guys can let me know. Um, and then we have a couple packs of these, which we always use these for like live auctions to put jewelry and other small things in. So we'll definitely use those. Some multiplication cards, which we'll put with the other school supplies. Uh, magazine. Nothing, 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 nothing. Whatever this is, I don't know. But all this stuff is magazines, like cooking magazines and trash. Alrighty guys, piggy bank time, as you can see. This is a glass piggy bank. I think I'm the best case scenario right now. Yes, I could probably take this out and get the coins out, but what fun is that? So I'm gonna put that in here. And then this one, since it's super glue at the bottom, obviously I gotta break it, so I'm gonna do the same Let's do this one first, because the glass is going to be more dramatic. But let's see if I can break this one. 
hopefully there's a lot of silver and it's not so many pennies. So let's see if I can break this. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, I cracked the side. Look, just at those two hits, I cracked the side. Let's see. Woo! All right. So I cracked the side. I got the penny. Well, I see mostly pennies, but look, mostly pennies in there. But let's see if we got some silver. That is literally a piggy bank, a penny bank, penny bank. I see one, two, three, four. Four total pieces of silver, two dimes and two nickels. A great 30 cents. Let me push that to the side. Let me get the glass poop emoji one in. Like I said, I can get this one open, but what fun is that? So let's break it. Woo. All right. So I got this one open. Obviously, I'm going to be careful. I'm watching for the glass. I got the glass out the way. A quarter. That's good. Better start. A dime. A nickel. A dime. A dime. I'm just going to dump it out. All right. Let's see what we got. Ooh, we have a dollar. Here's a dollar. Uh, a dollar. Ten. A dollar. Five. Dollar. Thirty. Dollar thirty-five, dollar forty-five, and dollar fifty-five. So that's all the silver, and then we have a 2014 Chuck E. Cheese token. Score! Now that that's over with, we can calm down a little bit and go through this bag, which I know we didn't even open at all on the main channel because it's see-through, so we just kind of got a gist of what was in there from the outside. But let's see exactly what we have. So we have these flowers, which you normally find cheap at the dollar store or like Michael's or something. Here are some pine cones, kind of decorative. Here's a coach bag that is pretty decent condition here. It's, it looks like kind of dirty on the outside, but for the most part, like the inside's pretty clean right there. And it has this stamp. Otherwise, I don't really know how to tell. And there's a... Uh, number at the bottom there so definitely have to set that aside and get that checked a vase this is kind of cool it's uh oh his ears are broken off i knew i knew that's supposed to be a rabbit it looked kind of weird but um some kind of egg vase or cookie jar maybe that's supposed to be for easter oh this is a power saw pumpkin carving tool how useful is that 7.99 Here's another, this is like heavy duty stuff, $6.99. Um, all in one pumpkin carving kit. So it has like some punch out things and then these tools in the front. Here's some nice pumpkin carving tools here. <laughs> Here's another one that has like more tools, but then like a couple pieces you could just stick in your pumpkin. Why do you have so many pumpkin carving kits? Here are, um, a, or is another um, power saw. This here is a black tablecloth, some decorative pumpkins. These are Happy New Year confetti poppers. It just says Happy New Year. It's not like a certain year or anything. There's two bags of those. That's cool. Um, these are, I guess for Valentine's Day, it has like fuzzy, I don't know, rose petals and then some fuzzy, uh, what do you call it, hand cuffs. Here is adult nerd costume set. The glasses, the bow tie, and the suspenders. That's all you need. <clears throat> um, a naughty and nice checklist for Christmas. And here we have a bunch of more new things. So 12 count of notepads. So I guess it's for like Valentine's Day. And this bag is, um, looks like bubbles and Stamps, I mean some miscellaneous maybe party favor type things. Uh, this is more Valentine's Day thing. Maybe candy, notepads, uh, stickers, markers, stuff like that. These are mini jigsaw puzzles that are Disney. Uh, and then these four packs are heart notepads. So uh, your stellar, some monkey ones, and then like XOXO text me one so put all of that back in that bag uh, these are like his little twist ties 
There's another adult nerd costume set, but it's Halloween themed. A lot of party stuff in here. So here is a vinyl figure, Nightmare Before Christmas. So maybe it's like one of those mystery box things. <clears throat> That's really cool. Here's our Christmas sticker boxes. Two packs of those. A lot of brand new stuff in here. Some iridescent shreds. <laughs> Here's two packs of erasers that are Christmas themed. More pumpkin carving tools. Um, some Halloween socks. Thankful and blessed Halloween deck Halloween or uh, Thanksgiving. Probably Thanksgiving, to be honest. Here's some more signs. Welcome with bunny rabbit butts on there. Uh, what does this say? Have a cup of cheer, Christmas sign. And then right here, love each moment, Valentine's Day, or I mean, that can really be hung all year long. We have more socks down here. So one, two, three, four, uh, five. Do we have any more socks? Yeah. Six, seven. Any more stuff? Seven, eight, eight pairs or eight packs of uh, Happy Halloween Women's Crew socks. Another Nightmare Before Christmas mystery box. So I have two of those. A unicorn headband. It says it lights up, or it doesn't say, but there's a button on it. it doesn't work. Probably just needs batteries. This right here looks like goodie bags that were used. Some Halloween suspenders. Then we have a few packs of these. These are, what are they, fun shades. So it has like eyeballs and different designs on there for kids. Uh, here is a dog collar, brand new. Battery operated LED lights. Um, a decor for Halloween, like a dead rat, I'm assuming. <laughs> Uh, this bag just has a bunch of different like stickers, uh, notepads, just different like party favors for Halloween. I'm running out of room on this table, guys. More of these glasses, LED lights, another pack of glasses, a headband with uh, devil horns, some bubbles, another unicorn thing that's white instead of pink a little Christmas notepad, and then the last things down here are, and there goes half the stuff on the table, are Mashems. So they're super squishy ones. I know we collected like the SpongeBob version of these, but they're all Nightmare Before Christmas um, characters. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So six of these. So these will definitely probably be in an auction lot to go with a bunch of other Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. So that bag was really cool. I wanted to show you guys this bookcase real quick, if you that's, if that's what you want to call it. Um, the bookcase itself will definitely sell easy, either on Facebook Marketplace or at the yard sale. It just has a few scratches, but clean it up, it works fine. Um, so this whole thing really just has like some of these school books, uh, which don't look really used, maybe the first few pages. So I can throw that in the hamper with all the other stuff. Then we have some other uh, kids books, or books for kids, Paw Patrol, uh, Batman Guide, let's see back here, is Wonder, now a motion, or major motion picture, picture. Don't know what that is, just a chapter book. Here are scholastic, scholastic books, gosh I can't talk, Bunny, Kula, Bolt, that's a good movie by the way, Amber Brown Goes to Fort, gosh I remember this book. I do remember that book. There is a gnat in here. Pocahontas and the Strangers. Some Sesame Street. PJ Mask. This is trash. Um, and the other stuff just looks like, I mean, literally journals or coloring books or something. So all of this is trash. Alrighty, guys. That's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Come back next time. We'll have Deep Search number three, which will probably be the last video out of the $110 unit. After that, the next deep search video is gonna be on that antique unit. And I know there's a lot of boxes that we didn't fully go through at all. So who knows what valuable finds we will actually find out of there because that seems like an antique gold mine, like Jeeves has said, over on the main channel. So can't wait to do the deep search on that one. Like I said, if you haven't left, left it a like already, please do, it helps us out a ton. 
And until next time, have fun, laugh more, peace out.